Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Rabbi syurah li sadri wa sili amri wa khlunuk datar malisani yafu qawli okay, Kita sambung lagi uh, kuliah kita Biomedical Engineering and Application So one of the important topic is uh, we'll discuss it today is implant design and technology implant design and technology uh, and this one is for the purpose of uh, assignment 2 and it will be done individually uh, individually so every single person in the class have to do their own assignment this time uh, it's not in the group it's in the uh, individual so uh, what is the importance of uh, understanding the implant uh, design and technology so for example uh, inside the human body so anything that goes inside the human body from outside uh, that means from outside to inside the human body is called foreign material so foreign material for example look at this uh, nice diagram here uh, is actually the anatomy of the hip hip of the human so this is the original one and this is the uh, modified version one so with which has some materials included inside the uh, the anatomy uh, of the the hip so like I said there is uh, foreign materials being introduced uh, inside the human body so you have uh, either metals or uh, polymerous types of uh, plastics that have been uh, introduced inside the human body so the body will first initially identify what is this uh, this material which is coming in inside the body after that the body will analyze and will understand whether the the materials uh, implanted into the human body uh, is safe or whether it is compatible so if it is compatible then it will start to grow together with the original parts but if it is let's say if it is not compatible biologically compatible so we call biocompatibility uh, biocompatibility means biologically uh, compatible so if they are not compatible then the body will start to reject them reject them with what they will have there will be some sort of inflammation and then uh, there will be swelling and the uh, patient will have some sort of uh, disturbance inside the body and they have to remove it back but if it is biologically compatible and then the body will start to accept the bone surrounding the area of the materials included uh, will start to grow the bone will start to grow and they will blend in with the foreign materials so i have selected uh, actually five uh, question for assignment two so that means each of you you can choose uh, one of these uh, uh, title so since we have uh, 12 members so only two or three uh, two titles will have uh, three people doing uh, others will have uh, maybe two two people doing the same title so this one is called the uh, hip replacement hip replacement as you know already uh, there are important parts where the round shape one is the femoral head all right and then you have the acetabular uh, area so this one is the acetabular cup which is uh, being fixed with the with the stem right uh, so if they do this uh, what we call hip replacement there will be two parts actually one is the metal parts and the other one is sometimes they use uh, previously they have uh, also investigated ultra high molecular weight polyethylene UHW ultra high molecular weight polyethylene UHMW PE so these are the materials that they use and then the, the, the metal part is the titanium 
So who goes undergoes this hip hip replacement? Normally, people with uh, osteoporosis problem, and they have some sort of accident. They will uh, potentially they fell down and they broken their hip uh, bones, and then they will start to have uh, some sort of difficulties in mobilizing. I mean, moving around. So they will have to undergo this uh, sort of uh, replacement. So that's uh, one title. The second one similar under the same category of uh, surgery as well is known as uh, uh, knee replacement so you can see the knee replacement uh, the bones uh, the uh, the parts where the ligaments there and then the bones sitting on the bones what will happen eventually is when the the lubrication the gel type of liquid between the two bones is uh, uh, worn out and then uh, the bone will start to scratch between the bone bone and bone uh, in contact therefore the person will feel the pain so that's the before images the after one they will fix these uh, metals and then you can choose either you have uh, metal on metal hip replacement or metal on uh, plastic so again you can use ultra high molecular weight polyethylene so this one is the figure after uh, it's been fixed so therefore the the person can undergo the life uh, uh, much better uh, without any uh, what we call friction between the bone and uh, uh, and bone uh, knee replacement also same mainly occurs for uh, people with uh, obesity and body weights uh, i mean uh, uh, up to the obese level and then they they are aged as well uh, around 60 over ages and they have uh, serious uh, knee problems so pain in the in the knee so they will have to undergo this uh, this operation that's the uh, second title for the assignment uh, the third one third one is bone plates and screws so this one is uh, they use in the uh, bone fracture condition the bone fragments uh, reposition to normal alignment so that means when you have a sort of accident broken in the hands or in the legs the bones are not aligned so you have you have to use extra materials such as plates and screws uh, which they call as a internal fixation so there is a uh, external fixator and also internal fixation so you uh, there's two types but in this title we are focusing on the internal fixation uh, what we call uh, this uh, this is a special implants such as plates screws nails and wires uh, the condition is that you want to uh, make sure that the bones that's broken they will come back to the same position so you want to achieve reduce the incident of improper healing and also healing in improper position of the broken bones so uh, the implant used for internal fixation made from stainless steel titanium so why because they are durable and strong if uh, joint is to be replaced rather than fixed this implant can also be made of cobalt and chrome why because cobalt and chrome will have uh, uh, better porosity uh, where the bones and cells are more adhered to and they can grow into the the, the implants uh, and the implants are compatible with body and rarely cause an allergic reaction that's the uh, title number three number four you already can see here uh, bone screws in orthodontics uh, to gigi eh? to gigi what is an orthodontic mini screw is small diameter 1.5 2.0 millimeter screw device which is inserted screwed into the jaw bone through the gum to control tooth movement during orthodontic braces treatment jadi ini memang banyak orang guna lah screws are made from either titanium or titanium alloy hence they are reported biocompatible so this is another uh, application last Number five, scaffolds in uh, tissue engineering. This one is quite interesting because uh, the this process uses cells to replace biological tissue. 
uh, that means uh, if for example uh, you want to in, uh, normally the human bodies are able to regenerate tissues and organ uh, and uh, but in in some cases in, uh, where, where the human has some sort of loss uh, uh, due to things like congenital defects I mean uh, since uh, they are born diseases and sudden trauma sudden trauma is like for example if a person involved in the uh, uh, apa kebakaran fire event kebakaran and uh, the tissue dies called necrosis can be brought back to life kalau kebakaran burn the tissue is burned so you have uh, a lot of uh, tissues been removed and also you have to repair them back So sometimes the the original body system are not able to repair. So they call this as a, a tissue loss and trauma, such as uh, surrounding organs, bones, and skin. Uh, tissue engineering then become useful, where they can use these biomaterials, uh, such as the scaffolds, uh, to to actually um, restore, repair, or replace. Uh, damaged human tissue so that means these scaffolds that you use they are biocompatible you can fix uh, the area where the burn area you place them with the scaffold materials and then the scaffold material is actually uh, coated with uh, some proteins like as we learned in the previous lesson that uh, you use a specific extracellular matrix protein why because this matrix protein protein can attract cells movement so when you have this scaffold placed in the burn tissue area so it will amplify the signaling and communication between the cells to cell so that they cover the surfaces uh, that's the function of the scaffold and there are few materials that they have used you have to explore scaffold materials are also biocompatible and they degrade uh, uh, inside the body and it is not harmful to the human so that's uh, question number five I'm uh, in the title and uh, this is the format of answer so the student normally they will ask what's the format sir for the answer the answer should consist I've, I'm giving you some sort of uh, guide on how to answer so you have to focus on the materials that been used material properties okay so once you identify the material you explore the properties and the types of materials so why they have selected this material because of their strength or their durability their compatibility or what else the reasoning and then you also can focus on the biocompatibility issue this is very important so you need to have a good knowledge on the biocompatibility issues all right and then uh what are the risk and complication in this uh, implant technology that mean when you have this implant uh put inside the human body what are the risk and complication what are the safety issues next safety issues and then last but not least for which type of medical condition they have to undergo this sort of uh, implant uh, technology and surgery your answer should consist maximum 10 pages in microsoft word so you have to type this one is just the guide so you can put diagrams and so many other information that can help you explain well so maximum 10 pages in ms uh, microsoft word and also a uh, uh, powerpoint presentation slides but actually i would like to see the students uh, creativity in uh, uh including the diagrams and images or figures that will help you explain so both has to be submitted uh, in microsoft word 10 pages and also presentation slide format that means summarized uh items uh in uh, uh by through email so you have you can email to me and then this uh, uh so the due date will be 2 weeks from now So I give you two weeks uh, to complete this uh, assignment, individual assignment. So there is no group in this one; it's an individual assignment. Uh, I hope the explanation helps uh, you to understand, and you can explore. So uh, feel free to choose which title, and then uh, you have to let me know uh, which title you have uh, selected, 
and then after that you can proceed with the assignment so thank you very much assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh